second grade. Today for library, we are going to be talking about being good digital citizens, especially in a time like this where we're on devices all the time. So we could be talking anything about iPads, or it could be on a phone if you're borrowing a parent's phone, could be on a computer, could be on a smart TV, uh, or even on a video gaming system. So any type of technology that we're talking about here on how to use it safely and responsibly. And we're gonna be comparing this with digital citizens versus digital monsters. So let's go ahead and take a look. Digital citizenship. What is digital citizenship? Being a good digital citizen is using all kinds of technology correctly and responsibly. So my guess is this little baby here is not using it correctly and responsibly, but hopefully as second graders, we know how to use all these devices that way. Now the opposite of that is digital monster. So who is a digital monster? Today when we use that term, it's talking about someone who uses technology in the wrong way, like this monster eating it. And we'll talk about some specific examples here. So a digital citizen knows everyone doesn't have the same types of technology. Um, so some families can have all kinds of things, computers, phones, iPads, gaming systems, and some families don't, and that's okay. We don't brag about it to others, and we understand that. But a digital monster, they do brag. Maybe they brag that they have a new game or a new app or a new phone or a new computer, and maybe they even make fun of the kids who don't have those things. Okay, digital citizens, they know only grown-ups buy things online and they have to ask for permission before they buy things or download an app that costs money. But not those digital monsters. Look at these kids. They are buying things online without permission and they may not even know that it costs money to buy things on a phone or a computer. Maybe they're, you know, asking Alexa to buy things or they're playing an app and purchasing things within the app and not even realizing it. Digital citizens, they know there's many different ways to talk to people, but it's important to be safe. They only use apps and websites that their parents or teachers say or are safe for them, but not those digital monsters. And these pictures are actually kind of scary here. These digital monsters, they talk to strangers without permission. They may also text or message friends when they should have their devices put away, like at dinner time or um, during uh, work school time. Um, so we should never, ever be talking to strangers. That's a really big one that could turn scary. Uh, we always want to make sure we know who we're talking to. Digital Citizen knows that playing loud music or games around other people if you don't have headphones on is rude. This would be the same thing if you know that there's lots of background noise and you're in a Google Meet and you're unmuting. Um, digital Citizens, they know that when someone's speaking to you, it's best to put your device away. So if somebody's talking to you, putting, you know, your iPad down or your game down or your phone down, whatever you're doing and actually looking at that person. But look at this digital monster here. You can't even see his face. A digital monster would keep looking at their device when someone's speaking to them. And they also don't think about others when they're playing a loud game. Digital citizens know that you should use your own ideas and words for school assignments, but not those digital monsters. They may copy words of someone else that maybe they found online and pretend it was their own idea. So they're actually breaking copyright law here by copying someone else's work. Digital citizens, look how this... Um, this little kid is pointing right away to that screen. If they see anything that makes them uncomfortable, something pops up and they're not sure what it is, they go tell someone they trust, a teacher, a parent, grown up, anybody like that, um, that they report it to them. But not a digital monster. If they see bad or scary things online or someone says something that makes them uncomfortable, they just keep it a secret. They don't actually report it. 
Digital citizens know you need to take breaks from technology. Can't have way too much screen time. Um, and digital citizens, they spend time out outside, being active and doing all sorts of things that don't involve technology, making sure they take those breaks. But not digital monsters. They stay on devices too long, which can start to hurt their eyes or cause them stress. Digital citizens know that passwords and other private information needs to be protected. But not those digital monsters. And if you look at this conversation here, um, there's a conversation between a girl and a boy here, and they're asking for the phone number, and the boy just gives it out, even though he doesn't know her. So any personal information, passwords, and phone numbers, and addresses, we never, ever, ever give that out to people that we do not know. It's dangerous. Digital citizens, they know that it's important to be kind. And whenever they're sending messages online, could be anything from Schoology to emails to a text, anything like that, they remember that the people they're talking with are real people and they try to say things that are kind, but not those digital monsters. They send mean messages that hurts people's feelings and could turn into cyberbullying. Okay, so now I want to see you practice this here. So this paper that we're going to be doing, it says digital footprint, what will you leave behind? Uh, so you're going to draw a picture or write words to show what a good digital citizen does and what bad digital behavior looks like. So uh, the digital citizen side here where they're giving Given the happy face, that's going to be something good that a digital citizen would, would do. And the digital monster over here, the sad face, that is something that is not so good. So let's take a look at uh, Schoology to see how to submit this assignment. Now looking in your library Schoology course. So first thing you wanna go into the green folder. Remember green means go into this week's folder. And then you're gonna head into today, today's folder. It'll e either say Thursday or Friday. And now we can see our three steps for today. Number one was the Google Meet. Number two, watch the video about digital citizens versus digital monsters. And then number three, here we go with the reflection activity. So let's click into that to see what it looks like. And it's gonna ask you to start a new attempt here. So go ahead and say start attempt. Okay, then you're gonna see a page here. It says draw pictures or write words to show what a good digital citizen does and what bad digital behavior looks like. Uh, so what you're gonna be doing, you actually have just a couple of tools up here. Right here, this is the color, so it's automatically set on red here. Uh, but you also have an undo and redo button or clear if you need to start over. Uh, so what you'll do if you wanna choose whatever color you wanna choose here, and you could do a couple of different things. You could either, um, these, this is like a drawing tool here. So you can draw, let me hit clear there, uh, or you can write. So, you know, one thing a good digital citizen does, this would probably be easiest with a stylus, uses kind words. Okay, so see how I'm just using that tool there to write right on there. Uh, but you can, you can certainly draw a picture too. And then again, over in this section, you can switch to something else. Maybe a, a digital monster uh, cyber bullies or uses mean words or all those different sorts of things that we learned in the video. So um, write an example for each and then uh, right down here, you will hit review, the blue button, and you can see that you attempted it at one time and hit finish. And that is how you will do the, and there you go, it says one more time. Are you sure you wanna submit it? 
Good. Uh, so that is how you do the digital citizen versus digital monster reflection activity.